Ndiyan itanga neza putika ichi channel yanga Zina langa ndilo soho motapo Ene ndi mchudeno kwa itangwa wabuna Kahuru rendo ranga Rababu doka tila motapo Kazi subscribe zanga za gara Ndi kore wanga mandaru nukubuwa Na wewe waso ndi kore wanga mandaru nukuno Zanera da kahuru rendo ranga Rababu doka dela Sa izu ndo amba kasa social media yanga Ure kahuyu mwezo kufu mezi Nidowa nito ita Mbura tuunga ya youtube channel yanga Nganyambo zo fama na nao Tafana afrika chipembe ene rwamba la otoma ni chivenda ene wabenda vashu ni kumbira nuru mele aa orenda ka comment section below and ya man kari eni ka video na musi man Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the GIMP program, right, and the WAPT. So the Graduate Entry Medical Program, otherwise known as GIMP, and the WAPT, which is the VITS Additional Placement Test. That's what we're talking about today. So before we actually start, I just have a bit of a disclaimer, right? So all of the information that I will be talking about on this video is actually on the VITS website, right? So before anything, please go on the VITS website if you are interested in writing uh, the WAPT or interested in doing medicine at VITS via the GIMP program, well, the GIMP. Um, please do check out the site first and the reason I'm saying this is because these things change every single year or every other year right so criteria that might be um, applicable to this year might not be the same for next year things change all the time and it's always important because the university always tries to update their stuff right so if you start off there you'll be reading the most updated information on the site so number one rely on the site for the most accurate information so yeah so that's out of the way. Let's actually get into it. Let's talk about the GIMP program, right? So now what is actually the GIMP program? The GIMP program is a graduate entry medical program, as the name says, and it's, been, it's mainly for graduates, right? So it's people who didn't get into medicine first year and now have done other degrees and still like, you know, actually, I still want to do medicine. I still want to do this degree. And now they're like, is there a way in which I could get into medicine but not do first year? So now uh, this program, you get into medicine in third year of medicine at WITS and then you'll be in the same class as people who did medicine from first year and now in third year. So you guys are in the same class. There isn't like a separate class for GIMP people and a separate class for people who did medicine from first year. No, you guys are in the same class, right? And then now because you got into medicine via the GIMP program, you only have to do four years of medicine and not the usual six years, right? So now I'm going to explain um, the GIMP uh, um, sort of process in four steps. Four steps, and I'm basically, I'm basically using the four steps just for explanation purposes so you guys can understand how it actually goes and how it's actually done, right? So step number one. Step number one are your prerequisites, right? Prerequisites are things that you need to have or things you, that you need to have done before you actually now Think of even applying to medicine, right? So now what are the prerequisites? The prerequisites, again, are on the website. So right? the prerequisites are you need to have done first year physics, biology, and chemistry, right? Or you need to have done things like your zoology, anatomy, physiology, things like that. They also consider that. So that's okay. Uh, check the site for the marks that you, they want you guys to have, right? So that's the first thing. The physics, physiology, um, physics, biology, <laughs> chemistry. And then after that, you need to have done maths, pure math. They don't take maths literacy. So math, pure maths in high school or maths in varsity. And then after that, you need to have done English as either your home language or your uh, first additional language. Right, so the marks also are on uh, the site, the marks that you guys need to get. Right, so that's the first thing. That's the first step, the prerequisites. Once you're like, girl, listen, I meet the prerequisites. I've done these things. Listen, help me out, cha. How do I go about applying for the test now? Okay, so now when you want to apply for the test, not the test. Oh my goodness, sorry guys. When you want to apply for the game, um, uh, for the program, right, for the medical program, what you do now is go to step number two, the application. To apply to get into medicine, you need to go online and apply to get into um, Medicine at Vits, the undergraduate program, right? Medicine at Vits. And then um, after that, after you've applied, they'll let you know which documents you need to upload. If you're not, if you're a non-Vits student, they'll let you know which documents you must upload and when they want it by, they do that for all those documents and all those things once you've actually applied, right? So that's the second step. You apply to actually get into Medicine at Vits as an undergraduate degree, right? After that, you're like, I've applied, what's next? The third step is the WAPT. 
the Vitz Additional Placement Test. Now, this one is very important, guys, because a lot of people get this very confused. They get this part very confused. So, guys, please listen up. The web is a test that Vitz will basically make you write before they even consider looking at your marks, right? Before they even consider looking at your, your how much you pass by when you graduate, if you graduated cum laude or not, before they even look at that, they want you to write. So now, um, this test, the web actually consists of molecular medicine, physiology, and anatomy. It's three tests which you will be writing all in one day, right? And now from the web, you actually have to pass all three tests. You have to pass all the three components of that test. Now, the web is a pass or fail test, right? It's a pass or fail. So basically what that means is that if you get 50% for anatomy, uh, physiology, and molecular medicine, you've passed. They don't look to see who got 100%, who got a 70%, no. What they do is that they just look to see who got 50%. And now they're like, oh, okay, you've got 50%. Now we can actually start looking at your marks. Before then, if you, do, if you pass only one of them, they don't consider you anymore. Your application is unsuccessful. If you pass only two, they don't consider you anymore. Your application is unsuccessful. You have to have passed all three of the... Um, all three of tests, like all three of the components of the WAP. You have to have passed all three. And then after that, if you have passed all three of the of the uh, components, they'll let you know, they'll send you an email and let you know that you've passed. And then after that, you get to step number four. So step number four is the waiting and the response. So now after you've passed the WAP and they've let you know that you've passed the WAP, they're now going to now wait for your final year results. Or for those of you guys who've already um, like graduated and stuff, they're going to now take in your marks that you got in your last two years of varsity, right? So now if maybe you did a degree that is three years long, they're taking your second year and your third year. If you did a degree that's four years long or you did an honors degree, they're taking your honors and your third year. So the last two years and they take whatever mark you got there and make an average of it. And the mark that they get is that mark that they use to rank you, right? So now what happens is that once they have a mark, they rank you guys. There's a called some, there's something called the academic rating. So the academic rating is basically where they take the last two years and basically um, average it out and then rank you to see, okay, like you got this average, then you got this average, you got that average. And then that's when they start sending out their responses to say, okay, your application was successful oh they let you know that your application was not successful if it was not successful then um you can still try again the next year and you can still apply it again all right so now guys um with regards to the web and the game program um for some people might not actually have done like physics or the biology and stuff like that maybe they did a different degree altogether right and they didn't have all those components like in high school or in varsity there is uh, something called the vitz plus where you can do those things um you can do the physics the biology for like a one year you can do all those things in one year and then after that you'll be able to apply so i've linked it also in the description box you guys can go read up more about it and how you can actually now um do that like via the vitz uh, plus program to actually better yourself for step number one which is a prerequisite also guys i didn't write the the web test right so i don't really know what it's like i don't know what the web test is like uh if you guys haven't watched my video on how to get into medicine i'll put it up somewhere up there um you guys check it out and find out why i actually didn't write the web test but um what i did is that i asked people in my class my classmates to actually tell you guys a lot more about the web and how it was like how long it was you know things like that so that you guys can better understand and be better prepared for it and yeah guys i hope that you guys do enjoy this please leave um any comments that you have in the comment section below and yeah as always let's keep the love going let's keep the channel growing do enjoy the next video don't forget to subscribe bye guys hi everyone my name is kundi and i am a medical student so Lesoko just asked me to answer a couple of questions regarding the um, VITS additional placement test, also known as the WAPT. Um, so these are just my answers. So before I got into GEMP, I did two degrees. I did a Bachelor of Science and I did a Bachelor of Health Sciences Honours degree, majoring in Physiology. And how I um, found the WAPT was that the most difficult part about the WAPT was the emotional journey as well as preparing for the test um, as in you had to juggle between studying for the test because it was a self-study test and also doing well in your academic degree so i think that was the hardest part 
but the actual wiped test itself was not too difficult especially because i was able to cover every single section um if i were to rate how difficult it was i would say it was probably a six only because the labor came into studying every single thing and remembering every single thing so how um, i prepared for the wept was i essentially started preparing in my second year of my degree so um what i did was i selected more courses in my second year so that i could have fewer courses in my third year and hence more time and a smaller workload in third year so i could study for the wept I also started very soon with my studying. So I started studying um, in the December of my second year and that helped me to push myself and um, cover every single thing. When it comes to the resources and things that I used, um, I strictly followed the guidelines that faculty gave us. So I used the recommended textbook and I used the Wikipedia links that they sent us to use for molecular medicine. Um, and then on top of that, I attended tutorials um, by a group called Pregimp. So they used to give tutorials for the WAPT exam and they would give a mock, mock WAPT test before the exam. And that's how I prepared for my WAPT. When it comes to tackling the exam itself, so the exam has changed now. It's online and it's back to X type questions, which are you have to answer out of the options which ones are true and which ones are false whereas when i wrote it was a single best answer type of exam um that made it easier you know than the x type exam but fortunately there's no negative marking so all you need to do is read your questions thoroughly read them well and know that they're not trying to trick you there are no trick questions but you because the the, the questions are now x type you need to know your work very well and be able to see the differences in the answers to be able to determine which one is true and which one is false. Otherwise, in the exam, pace yourself. We were given three hours, so just pace yourself. Do the section that you are um, that you remember most first and that you're most confident with first. And make sure that in every single section, you at least are confident with 50% of the questions. So um, for me, we had 50 questions for physiology, anatomy, and 50 questions for molecular medicine. And each time I made sure that I was confident with at least 25 questions from each section. Um, we got our results after two weeks. It didn't take too long. And they don't give you any marks. It's just pass or fail. And from there then they tell you that you are now moving on to the next section of selection so that you can actually get into the program um i wish you all the best and yeah hi guys <laughs> my name is ngiasi i'm ngiasi nugeri i'm a fourth year medical student hey hey <laughs> and before medicine i did my bsc in biological sciences so that was three years and then I did my honors in physiology. That was a year. And um, and then I got into medicine. <laughs> in terms of medicine, man or oh meh. <laughs> I just, my advice to you guys, well, it's not really advice. It's just encouraging you guys. You know, I just, I want you to remember that you are worthy, right? You are capable and you are deserving and there's no such thing as you dreaming too big you know and i want you to believe that i want you to believe that you really are worthy that you really are deserving right write it on a piece of paper if you must you know paste it on the wall if you will but i just need you to remember that and i also need you to surround yourself with people who understand that and who believe in you so that on days that you are not strong enough to believe in yourself they may remind you that honey you are all that and a bag of chips <laughs> maybe not in those words but then to remind you that your dreams are valid always but other than that be patient with yourself be kind to yourself and remember that what is meant for you will come and when it does come i want you to sit back relax enjoy because you deserve it you always have 
and you always will deserve it best of luck with everything guys with the rest of the year and please kill the web <laughs> thanks bye